Hello and welcome, Libra. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Libra, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate for your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. I also encourage you to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, just because they can give a little more insight into your situation. All right, so Libra, first out is the page of water. What else we got for Libra? Okay. Nice. Very beautiful, Libra. Very beautiful. All right. So bottom of the deck, we do have the messenger of earth. So just remember, slow and steady wins the race. And that is the message I keep getting for that particular card um, and this particular situation for you, Libra. All right, so page of water. Um, I do feel like somebody is really recognizing that they have feelings for somebody else here. Um, this feels like something new, so I do feel like you are dealing with a new person here, Libra. Um, with the four of fire, I do feel like there's a very strong connection here. With the world card, I do feel like you are going towards a new cycle or a new beginning. I feel a new opportunity opening up for you. With the King of Water, again, Libra, I feel like there's a lot of feelings here, but I kind of feel like you're holding back. I feel like you're kind of, there's like some flirtatious, you know, behavior or uh, communication, but at the same time, I feel like you're really holding back your true feelings, which feels a lot stronger than that page of water there. Um, with temptation, there's something about this situation that kind of screams like forbidden fruit. Um... But it does feel very abundant. It feels very deep-rooted. And like I said, it feels like a lot of passion or a lot of chemistry between you and this person here. All right, Libra. As usual, we are going to clarify from left to right. So starting with the world card here. Okay. All right, so we do have the Strength card. We have the Three of Cups, and we have the King of Wands. Um, Libra, I'm feeling like, you know, and <laughs> I kid you not, this Three of Cups has literally come out for, I think, about every sign this week. Um, and we are, you know, kind of not really surprising because we're going into the holiday season, of course. So, you know, this is talking about celebrations, you know, being with family, being with friends, you know, things like that. So, you know, of course, that's it's going to make an appearance, right? Um, with the strength card, again, I feel like somebody is really fighting to hold back their emotions, but I also get somebody's kind of fighting to let go, let go of the past and kind of start this new beginning. I feel like somebody's fighting against change. Um, you know, Libra, this could be you, this could be your person, but again, I feel like somebody's having a hard time letting something go. This could be a past situation. This could be... Um, I do feel like this is, has something to do with the past, but I feel like they're just having a hard time letting this go or getting past this. And it's like there's a whole new opportunity being presented in front of you, but you're not unlocking it. It's just like you're kind of, I just feel you either waiting or again, I, I feel fear. Like you're really just waiting. You're really holding back is what I keep getting. Um, King of Wands, I don't feel like you're taking any action yet, even though this feels like a very strong connection, even though it feels like you want to take action. Um, I don't feel like you are. Hmm. I do feel like, um, again, I keep getting that flirtatious, kind of, you know, just fun flirtatious like conversation. But I don't think it's gone beyond that. I feel like this is a very new connection. And again, I feel like somebody's having a hard time of letting something go. This could be letting go of heartbreak, letting go of, you know, pain, loss, um, something like that. And, you know, it's like having to start all over again. It's scary. And I feel like that is somebody's struggle here. So, Libra, this could be you. This could, like I said, you know, potentially be your person. Um, let's see. We do have the Emperor. <laughs> and I swear you guys got the emperor last time too. Um, we have the emperor coming out. We have seven of cups and we have the two of swords. 
this is all clarifying the four of uh, fire or the four of wands. So again, that 1111 card, that very strong um, foundation that, you know, sometimes twin flame card or, you know, just a very divine union. And the fact that emperor is coming out again, a number four card, um, you know, again, I'm feeling like this is a very divine union, a very divine counterpart here. Um, a very strong connection. I do feel like, you know, again, somebody's kind of hiding behind their mask, kind of hiding um, their true feelings. And I feel like this person is just having a lot of confusion. They don't know what they want. They don't know what to choose. They don't know what to do right now. They're very conflicted. I keep getting a lot of conflict from this person. Um, it's like that inner conflict, not like they're being argumentative or anything, just, you know, some inner conflict. All right, clarifying the page of water here. Okay, we do have the five of pentacles, the five of wands, and the two of cups. Yeah, Libra, you are struggling to really start over. Um, five of pentacles speaks to some kind of loss. Um, you know, feeling left out in the cold, feeling almost like abandoned. Um, five of wands, you know, Libra, this is a struggle. This is a really big struggle. But there's a lot of love here. With this Two of Cups, this is a very strong connection here. And like I said, it's like you're waking up to new emotions, to new feelings that you do have for someone. But at the same time, um, you know, again, Libra, this could be your person as well. But at the same time, it's like they're really struggling to, to say, I feel this connected to you or I feel this way about you. Right, yeah, like I said, I keep feeling like somebody's really struggling, having a hard time just letting go of the past or getting past that abandonment feeling. Two of Cups, like I said, this is a very divine union here. Something that is very guarded. It's like you were guided to this person for a reason. Okay. And there you are, Libra. There's your card coming out to own this reading. Um, so clarifying the King of Water, we do have the Justice card, we have the Star card, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So again, I feel somebody's really hanging on to a past situation that is full of a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. Um, again, kind of triggering that abandonment feeling within them. Um, I do feel like there's going to be healing, but again, I kind of feel like going back to the bottom of the main deck, Messenger of Earth, um, the first message I got for you was slow and steady wins the race. So I do feel like there's some healing. I do feel it's taking place, but I just feel, again, it's going to take some time. Right now, things are still too one-sided. Things are still too early. Um, I don't feel like this person is rushing you or um, putting like a time frame or time limit or anything. I feel like this person is really supportive of you, Libra. Um... So, you know, it's just like, again, slow and steady, kind of doing things at your own pace, but at the same time, making sure that you don't get stuck. All right, let's clarify tempta Ooh, temptation. All right, why is temptation here for Libra? Okay, one more. All right. Okay, so we do have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so, you know, again, Libra, with Temptation being here, um, Three Pentacles, this could be a third-party situation. There could be another person involved. Um, you know, maybe they're already in a relationship. Again, maybe it's still because you're having a hard time letting that third energy go, letting that energy of a past relationship with you, or, you know, their past relationship. Somebody's having a hard time letting something go. So I feel like, you know, that's why there's still like this kind of forbidden fruit is because somebody's still working through past issues. Okay. I do feel like somebody is also being very defensive. Um, but I keep getting, again, somebody's not ready for something. So they're kind of standing their ground. Again, Libra, this could be you. This could be your person. And like I said, I keep getting the message of slow and steady. Um, so it's like in time. With Ten of Wands, again, I feel somebody feels very, very overwhelmed here. This could be very overwhelmed with letting that situation go, you know, getting past the past um, or coming to terms with how you're feeling about this connection. Hmm. I also feel like somebody's really trying to get somebody else's attention, but it's like they're kind of being ignored or it's like they can't make the move yet. 
I almost get like somebody's purposely blocking somebody else out because they have a connection, they have feelings, but for some reason, again, um, something is in the way. There's that temptation, so they're like putting a wall up so that way they don't fall into that temptation. Okay. All right, Libra, let's get some cards. These are just some extra messages. Like if, um, you know, the universe had messages for Libra, what would they want Libra to know? Okay. Okay, we do have three here. Sacral Chakra, Harmony, and the waiting game. So again, <laughs> Libra, like I said, um, very strongly, I do feel that um, we are kind of in the waiting game with your feelings, with their feelings. Um, there's a strong, strong connection here, a strong bond. But again, slow and steady is going to win the race. So just playing the waiting game, planting those roots, um, waiting for somebody to really heal, to really recognize this emotion, really kind of just let go. And again, you know, do things in their own time. With Harmony, again, a very strong connection here, very strong bond. It's like the two of you just flow. The two of you just really vibe. Um, very open connection, very loving connection, very healing connection. Um, with the Sacral Chakra, you know, this is talking about your confidence. This is talking about your independence. And as I just said that, 11-11 um, was actually on my clock. So... Um, anyways, as I was saying, this is kind of pulling back your power again, kind of working on your own, um, you know, self-confidence. Um, you know, this is also talking about passion. There's a lot of, you know, possibly, you know, desires, um, between the two of you, again, a lot of passion. I feel like things, you know, are pretty intense between the two of you. So again, I feel like that, you know, has something to do with, again, the sacral chakra coming out. All right, let's get an oracle card, please, for Libra. Okay. <laughs> and this is great. Okay, so one ring circus. Um, just kind of saying, you know what, like Libra, whatever comes your way, like you've got this. You can handle this. Like, don't even, don't, don't worry about it. Like, you can handle this. You can figure this out. I know things are crazy, but it's like you've had, you can handle crazy. You can do this, Libra. Um, sacred pool, again, a lot of really special feelings here. Um, a very special commitment. Yeah. And as I'm saying, commitment, um, commitment. So yeah. So, you know, again, there's a lot of feelings here and I feel like this person is going to wait for you. I do feel like this person and you are very healing for each other. Um, I do feel like, you know, you and this person, again, just something that's meant to be, um, sad embrace again. I do feel somebody, like I said, has really feelings of abandonment. Um, somebody has really been hurt here. Somebody is really dealing with some kind of loss, some kind of sadness, and that's what they're going through. And it's like, that's why this person has crossed your path at this time. This is why this person is here because it's like, this person is helping you heal. I'm helping you on your way here. All right, let's get some charms. Okay. All right, so we do have, um, let's see, what is this one? Capricorn, ambitious. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, <laughs> or you can just be very ambitious yourself, Libra. Um, we do have the little clover there, and it's made out of hearts. So again, this could also represent, again, a third-party situation somewhere along the line. Or again, somebody just... And third-party situation does not mean cheating. Um, it doesn't always have to be. It doesn't always have to mean like there's, you know... Like I said, you know, somebody's cheating on somebody or has another party. It just means there's a third energy attached to this. So again, it could be somebody's abandonment issue that's attached to this. That's a very big, you know, energy. Um, you know, it could be like somebody who's a workaholic. You know, that could be the third energy. So again, but I do feel like there is a third energy involved here. Um, weakness is a choice. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Me versus me. So Libra, it's like you're kind of getting in your own way here, um, kind of blocking your own happiness. Um, instead of just letting things go, kind of going with the flow, it's like you're you're getting in your own way. Um, I keep getting somebody feels very guilty. Um, and I don't know why that is. It's like maybe you don't deserve or think you deserve happiness or something. But Libra, you do. Um, or, you know, if this is your person, everybody deserves to be happy. With the horseshoe and the ladybug, again, this is talking about good luck. Um, we also have another little clover. So I do feel like you and somebody here is kind of mirroring each other. 
Um, with the little wrench here, I do feel like, again, um, something needs to be repaired. Something needs to be fixed. I do feel like, again, a lot of healing needs to take place. With the little tennis rackets and the ball, I keep getting like the balls in your court kind of going back and forth. Um, this could mean communication. Um, with the little ambulance here, again, I feel somebody's... Um, I keep getting somebody's hurt or somebody's, you know, suffering some kind of loss or something. And that's what they're trying to heal past with this little rose here. Again, I feel a rebirth. I feel like, you know, I keep getting new life, um, coming in with the little bow here. You know, I keep getting, um, Cupid's arrow, you know, it's like you're, you're going to be falling in love all over again. Um, with the little tree, you know, this is again, talking about roots. This is talking about, um, you know, happiness, starting like family tree type of situation. With the sun, a lot of abundance. You actually have two trees here. But it's like one tree isn't fully secure yet. We're still working on that. Again, with that leaf, um, I keep getting fall time. The little football. Somebody could really love football or like playing football. Um, watching football. Um, could just be a sports fanatic. Um, somebody could be very athletic. Um, and we are, you know, in football season. And, you know, again, in fall. So... You know, like I said, regeneration, things like that. Um, with this little clock, again, I keep getting something about divine timing. Like, everything happens for a reason. Um, with the little lock. Oh, that's not a lock. That. Okay, actually, that is. That's like a little cat here. Um, I keep getting nine lives. I also keep getting something spiritual. And there's that apple again. And I keep getting forbidden fruit. So there's something about this connection that could be a little bit taboo. But I feel like a lot of nostalgia here. Yeah. I keep getting transformation. And I keep getting somebody being pretty sly, like this little fox, hiding their emotions. And then with the windmill, again, I keep getting somebody's being very tough. I keep getting something's manifesting. And I keep getting something about, like, um, going with the grain, or not grain, um, going with the wind, or not going against the wind. So... All right, well, Libra, that is what I have for you, so I hope this helps. Thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, take care.